We end tonight with one of the most famous signs in the world, nine letters long, and they all spell trouble for the folks who live nearby. Here's Ben Tracy. If you come to Hollywood, you better be ready for your close-up. Oh, beautiful. And if you hike just far enough. There it is, right there, the Hollywood sign. You get this view and likely a visit with this guy. My name is Tom LaBange. Uh -huh. I'm a councilman with the city of Los Angeles here in Hollywood, California. LaBange is an avid hiker and the unofficial ambassador of LA's nine letter landmark. God bless Paris. Thank you for the greatest gift of the Statue of Liberty. How long are you here for? Uh, two weeks. I'll be this in. Nice to meet you. I do love tourists and I do love the people of Los Angeles and I'm trying to solve this situation. The situation is this, cars, people, cars, people, all trying to reach the Hollywood sign through a neighborhood home to 20,000 other people. This was once a little known access point to LA's Griffith Park. GPS and the internet have now given everyone a map to Sarah Jane Schwartz's front door. She's lived here for 35 years. It's like inviting people to a public pool where there's no lifeguard. She's documented the mayhem, narrow streets lined with tour buses and cars, and hordes of people walking in between them. Some weekends, 10,000 people walk past her house. Is your concern really safety, or is it just flat out annoying having all these people and cars in your neighborhood? Believe me, I wouldn't be doing that if it was just an inconvenience. Until they can figure out how to make this place safe, this should all be shut down. The city has restricted parking. There's a guard to keep an eye on things and big signs trying to throw sign seekers off the trail. But this hike is in a public park and the city says it should stay open. I'm for the public. Well, you know, you're, but the you're public, if they get yeah. run over in the street, that's yeah. not being for the public. Right. Ironically, the sign was put up in 1923 to attract the public, homeowners for a new neighborhood called Hollywood Land. Have you gone up to the sign yet? But it's the shorter version worthy of a selfie that's now causing so much strife. Take on the bucket list, I guess. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Hollywood.